Polymarket's 2024 election prediction. Trump dominating with big wins across key states. According to Polymarket's latest forecast, Donald Trump has taken a commanding lead over Kamala Harris, with a 55.4% chance of winning the election. With just 26 days to go, Trump has flipped several key states, causing the momentum to swing in his favor. Let's break down the updated election map state by state and explore how the race is unfolding. West Coast, solid for Harris, but Nevada tightens. California, Oregon, and Washington remain safe for Harris, with over a 95% chance of victory in each state. However, the race in Nevada is far from decided. Biden carried the state by just over two points in 2020, but the latest numbers show that the contest is now neck and neck. Harris holds a slim 52% chance of winning, while Trump is close behind at 49%. Nevada is now the only state where Harris has a slight edge, but with such a narrow margin, it could easily go either way before Election Day. Arizona and Texas, Trump pulling away. Trump has picked up considerable momentum in Arizona, a state that Biden flipped in 2020. The odds now favor Trump, giving him a 67% chance of winning, with polls showing him ahead by 0.9%. Harris's campaign has struggled to gain traction in Arizona, and it looks increasingly likely that the state will return to the Republican column. Texas remains firmly red, with Trump expected to win the state for the third consecutive time. His support has remained strong throughout the campaign, and there is no indication that Texas will flip blue this cycle. Central and Mountain States Red Strongholds Trump is projected to dominate the Central and Mountain States, securing victories in Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Kansas, and Oklahoma. The only bright spot for Harris is Nebraska's second district, where she has an 89% chance of winning. The rest of Nebraska, however, will stay red. In Alaska, Trump holds a 92% chance of victory, while Hawaii will comfortably remain with Harris and the Democrats. Midwest, Harris struggling in key battlegrounds. The Midwest will be critical, but Harris is facing challenges across the board. Minnesota, Harris holds a 91% chance of winning, but her narrow four-point lead is not as reassuring as it should be for Democrats in a state that hasn't gone red since 1972. Wisconsin, Trump has taken the lead for the first time since August, with Polymarket now marking the state as tilt red. Polls suggest that the state could soon flip completely to Trump. Michigan, Trump leads by nearly 1% in polls and holds a 52% chance of winning. This is a major blow for Harris, as just a few weeks ago, she had a 68% chance of winning Michigan. If she loses this state, it could ruin her overall strategy. Pennsylvania, Trump now leads with a 56% chance of winning. Polls show him ahead by 0.3%, making Pennsylvania a must-win for both campaigns. Whoever takes Pennsylvania could very well secure the presidency, just as it did in 2016 and 2020. Northeast, safe ground for Harris, with some close races. Harris is expected to win most of the Northeast, including New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Jersey, Vermont, Rhode Island, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. However, New Hampshire and Maine are slightly more competitive, with Harris holding an 87% and 88% chance, respectively. Maine's second district, though, is leaning toward Trump. Southern states, Trump holds control. Trump is expected to dominate the South, winning Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, and South Carolina. In Virginia, Harris holds an 89% chance of victory, but the margin will likely be narrower than Biden's in 2020, when he carried the state by double digits. Southern swing states, Trump's lead growing. North Carolina, Trump holds a sure 62% of winning, with polls showing him ahead by 1.6%. While local controversies have affected his numbers, North Carolina is still expected to stay red. Georgia, Trump leads with a 64% chance of winning, flipping the state back to red after Biden's narrow win in 2020. Polls show Trump ahead by 0.8%. Florida, once a battleground, Florida is now solidly Republican. Trump has a 90% chance of winning, continuing his success in the state from previous elections. Can Harris turn things around? With only a few weeks left, 
Harris needs to perform well in the upcoming debates and boost voter turnout in key states like Nevada, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. However, the odds are against her. Polymarket's projections show Trump securing 306 electoral votes, leaving Harris with only 232. Harris initially showed promise after Biden stepped aside, but her momentum has faded. Democrats are now concerned as Michigan and Wisconsin, two critical swing states, have shifted toward Trump. If these trends hold, Harris could face a major defeat on Election Day. Lower Midwest, Trump poised for victory in the Lower Midwest, Trump is expected to win. Iowa, Trump has a 93% chance of victory, just shy of the 95% mark needed to call it safe. Ohio, Trump is also likely to win, with a 92% chance. Indiana and Illinois, Indiana will remain red while Illinois stays blue. Trump's path to victory, holding momentum in key states. Trump's campaign has steadily regained traction, especially after the Democratic convention failed to provide a boost for Harris. He has re-established his lead in critical swing states, with polls showing him gaining ground in Georgia, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. If Trump holds these states and flips Michigan, his path to victory will be nearly certain. What's the final map prediction? Polymarket's latest numbers show the 2024 election map looking much like it did in 2016. Trump is projected to win 306 electoral votes, while Harris is expected to get only 232. This marks a major shift, especially since many believed Harris had a good shot at winning after Biden stepped down. With Trump leading in key battlegrounds and the clock ticking, Harris and the Democrats will need to pull off a last-minute comeback to have any chance. Stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to Election Day, and let us know your thoughts in the comments.